If you have exposure in land, the problems which have which people have, the opportunities are lying in those problems that are there. If you just become a solution, I my you are, you are just self-employed. I did one time about the Jethan Kisumu, and he failed. But um, I went. The issue was with the sock pit. I went and rectified it, and that bio has served the client a clean of a bill clean of uh, three years now. It's still functioning. So from that, I was encouraged and did the business. And from then up to now, this, the business has grown. We have done installation throughout the country, Mandela. Uh, we have done in Wajir. We have done in Lamu, at uh, Kiunga. Basically, at every corner of Kenya, even to Kana, we have done in Lokichang. I'm Kenneth Kagunyo Irimo. Uh, I'm the founder of Modern Bokanya Limited. It's a modern uh, company dealing with the uh, management of waste from your house, from your premises, or from your apartment. Uh, furthermore, I'm, uh, I'm an IT student at St. Paul University. No, five, five or four years ago, five years ago, uh, I was in Nairobi doing, I was selling some kitchen household business. So I had two shops, one in Moy Avenue, another one in, um, in uh, Liva Road. And uh, I had done that business for a whole year, so I was good in it. Actually, I was doing business, online business. But uh, a friend came one day afternoon, and we were talking about biodigesters, and he told me, you know, this new technology have, have come in, and uh, it's something very new in the market. So for me, I saw a business opportunity in it. Then I gave myself a period of three months. At least I can know what's a biodigester, how it works, where is it supposed to be done? How is it supposed to be placed? How, which different designs do we have? We have box biodigesters. We have round biodigesters, which is the best among them. So I had to learn about, to learn it, especially from online based. So you get like these biodigesters are Israel based biodigesters. What you see here is what Israel are using right now. A biodigester is a, is a new term that uh, is not that old in the market. It's so something very, very new in market because you go in areas and you, you see about digester and people look like, is that biogas? Well, biodigester is not biogas. Yes, a biogas has a simple setup with a biodigester in it, but a biodigester essentially is, is, um, is something that comes to replace your septic tank. It doesn't fill up and there is no smell at all. It is very, very simple in, uh, in the architecture of it, very, very simple. And it requires a very minimal space of your household or the place you want to install it. Uh, a bio basically breaks down your sewer from the house completely to water. So whatever you only get from the bio is just water. Now this water you may recycle it if you want. If you don't want to recycle it, you can just um, let the water go down to a, to a sock pit or a French drain, depending with which area you're in. I did one time about the Jethen Kisumu. And he failed. But um, I went, the issue was with the sock pit. I went and rectified it. And that bio has served the client a clean of, a bill clean of uh, three years now. It's still functioning. So from that, I was encouraged and did the business. And from then up to now, this, the business has grown. We have done installation throughout the country, Mandela. Uh, we have done in Wajir. We have done in Lamu, at uh, Kiunga. Basically, at every corner of Kenya, even to Kana, we have done in Lokichang. If I do a sum up, I was doing a sum up for January of the project that you have done over last year. They were throwing up to 250. Last year, the project we did, because once Corona came in, people shifted from rentals and they went to their premises. So you find that the installation of the bios was quite high at that time. So we did, we did more than, we accomplished more than 250 projects in last year. And uh, if I say a sum up of all the projects you have done, you can surpass 300 projects and above. About um, employment status, I can say that um, I personally did, did IT and uh, there's a lot of opportunities out here, a lot of opportunities. What you need to do is just identify a problem. People have problems out here. Like now, biodigesters companies are all over all over. Because uh, once I go to somewhere and interview, I'm told that there are almost four competitors. But 
if you put your work on the table and they see how you coordinate your work, how you service your work, how, how clients are satisfied, always make sure that the client is always right. That is number one. Number two, make sure the client is satisfied. That is number two. Number three, make the client informed. If you make the client informed of what you're doing, ah, my guy, I'm telling you, you will not, you will not cause a referral, one and two. Right now, we may be doing online stuff like um, paying for ads and everything. Maybe Google, Facebook, web pages, you just pay. But a num the, bigger, the biggest number of clients I've gotten this year are referrals. Our guy, I did about just three years ago. Um, the boy is doing okay. He tells me I have a friend doing a house, come over for a site survey, come over for this. So if you do a good job, referrals will work by you. So as young generation as you are, just come out here. Don't have exposure. If you have exposure and learn the problems which, have, which people have, the opportunities are lying in those problems that are there. If you just become a solution, I my you are, you are just self-employed. Now, a bio, it has mainly two main advantages that people always intend to put, or why they need to have a bio in their premises. One, once you do this system, you will never exhaust it. Once I mean exhaust it is that um, you will never see the exhauster at your place. Okay? So it will never fill up. The stool gets in. There's an enzyme that we put, an enzyme, please note that, we put an enzyme. That enzyme is to facilitate with the, with the, with the, the, the composition of stool at a faster rate. So between a range of 7 to 10 hours, the stool is completely decomposed and that water now can be emptied to the soak pit. Number two, the bio has no smell. This, once you do this, I'm promising you that smell at your place will be a thing of the past. We have kept bio is in parking places, e.g. like in Maroroi. We have done bios in, um, in basement level, like apartments in Moturua, in Ruaka, and in, um, and in where? In Siokimau. The bio are just on the, the parking, on the basement, no smell. That is the most advantageous. Number two, the cost. Check the cost of a septic tank. A good septic might, might, uh, might cost you around 200,000 300,000 for good uh, septic. That's residential. But this one is very, very cost friendly. At only, if you have, let me say, between, depends with where you are, depends with the type of area you are, between 70 and 90,000, you will get yourself this stuff. Number two, number four, the, the most advantageous is about space, as you know. Nowadays, people are getting plots, maybe 50 by 80, 80 by 8, 80 by 40. So the space is limited. So the buyer only needs a space of 10 feet by 6 feet and 4 feet deep. That is the size of the, of the pit. That will serve the biodigester and also a sock pit. In the case you're in a place where there's a cotton, loam, or um, sun-like um, uh, profile, you do, we do a French drain. A French drain will simply drain that water away from your premises. So, water from the bio is not toxic to the environment. Okay, another advantage. Water from the bio, it's not toxic to the environment. This is because this water, if you need to recycle it, you can. Okay, if you need to, you, maybe you use um, in gardening. We ha I have a client in Siokimau who has done about digester, and his water is basically uh, circulating along the flowers and at his. Um, at his garden. So the water is being used for irrigation there. Um, if you need to, to recycle the water, I have done a system in Karen whereby another company came and did the full recycling. So water there is fully recycled from the bio is recycled back to the house. So water from the bio is not toxic. Um, we have some areas whereby it has been developed very, very much such that we don't even have to do a sock pits. That's how now a bio is very efficient. If you do a bio in places like Kasarani Mweki, you don't need a sock pit. You just need to get that approval from Neema and your outlet is simply done in a, in a drainage. So that now that water can just flow down because it's just clean water, not that bad water. So as you see, these are a chamber and a base. This comes on top of this, okay? So we have an inlet here an outlet here. Stool comes in through this and uh, water exits through this to the sock pit. 
Stool, once, once stool is inside, it's in the base getting decomposed. Once they get decomposed, dissolves in the water and gets in the sock pit. After now, you fly, if someone, someone flushes, that water comes in excess and goes to the sock pit. That's how simple the process is. In raw, this is how it's made. So it will be left like this overnight. This molding will be moved in the morning for affirmity. These ones will need to be gotten off in a few minutes time. So that it cannot stick inside there. Eh? So that's how the bow is. Then uh, we have the base here. The base, I guess, it's already done. It's here. Uh, that's how it is. That is the base chamber. Capacity of this, it is 1.1 meter cubic. So it will hold around 1,000, 1,100 liters. This also comes in with a grease trap. This one is essentially for kitchen or any grey water coming from the house. So we'll have an inlet here. This is uh, manually made and also an outlet here. Water comes in through this. Once water levelizes, grease is left on this edge as water now comes out through this. So this one is simply for taking grease off water. Installation dates. This one can take two days only, depending with uh, how well we are, we are prepared, because we just do the excavation. The following day, if the hard course, this is in the, is in the site, just take one day for installation, and that is done. The longest we can take is around four days. The longest we can take. Uh, the price ranges from right now, they are going at a market rate of, uh, from 70,000 onwards, depending with where you are. In Nairobi, within areas, we can give you at a lower cost of 70,000. Areas in Western Kakamega, Busia, uh, Malava, that is around 85,000, from 80,000 to 85,000. Lifespan, this one is a lifetime, a lifetime deal. You never need to either add enzymes or anything. As long as you separate your grey water from black water, your system will remain to be safe. These are residential biodigesters. We have other commercial biodigesters from 50 people to 150 people. We also have school-based biodigesters, 2 meter cubic and 3 meter cubic. So different ranges for different institutions and households uh, purpose. So that's how a, sim a simple system biodigester works. From the inlet, the stool is left here. Once we leave this biodigester after two days, it is filled with water. Water is essential for the biodigester because of one. The enzymes are on the wall of the biodigester. Therefore, once this tool comes in the biodigester, this tool gets water plus the enzyme. So water acts as an optimum condition for the enzyme to help in decompose the stool. Now, the decomposition takes between seven to 10 hours. Purely dissolves in the water, and that water is, is, is um, limited to the sock pit. It's just purely water. So if you want to do recycling of water, what you do, you take this outlet and place a filtration chamber here. Maybe put some stones, some uh, charcoal, some fine sand, and it will filter any impetus in the water, and you get your clean water in a reservoir tank. Now from the reservoir tank, put your pump and pump that water around your farm. All your garden if you have a garden so the finishing of it we normally do nilo outside so normally we leave it this way we can apply some green uh, some green uh, matter and it becomes green because it's helping in environment so it's never left this way but the best we can leave it is this way good corners and also ideal in case the top part is seen from from far if this mat and ideal for your premises We chose the soak pit over the septic tank to avoid the costs of uh, exo exhaust cost. Uh, again, for the biodigester, there will be no operational cost. And uh, it requires a small space of land. And we can do something else on top of that area where the uh, biodigester and the soak pit are. Uh, so far, so good. So I, I was fascinated by this technology as I had not seen it before.